Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to run a full power test using the RTC-1000 controller to check the relays and elements of your kiln. Um, so first thing we need to do is program for the full power test. So we're going to go ahead and press the enter start button once. Then you're going to see the dashes. We're going to press 4 to get to the user programs. Now you see we're on user 1. I'm going to go ahead and select user 6, but it really doesn't matter which one you use. We're just going to write over the program. So press 6, press enter. Now it's asking for the number of segments. We just want one, so we'll press one and press enter. Then it's asking you for the ramp rate, and we want a ramp rate of all nines, which is as fast as possible, so type that in and press enter. Then it's asking you for the temperature, and we want a thousand, so we'll go ahead and type that in. Press enter. We want a hold time of zero, so type that in and press enter. And then it's asking for the alarm. So we want the alarms at all nine, which shuts the alarms off because we're going to have the kiln lid open. Press enter. Okay, now we're back at idle. So once we're back at idle, you want to make sure that the lid is open and your kiln is empty, and then we're ready to start the firing. So we're going to go ahead and press the enter start button twice. Then you'll see on on the screen, and so that means the kiln is going to, going to go ahead and start firing. Now, what you want to do here, we want to run, let this run for 20 to 25 minutes, and after that time we want to visually inspect the elements of the kiln and just observe each element. Now there's a couple things indicated once we've, we've ran the full power test that'll tell us what is defective or not. So if one section of the kiln is dark and not coming on, this could indicate a defective relay since there's usually just one relay per section. Um, if one element is not glowing at all, that could indicate a broken or bad element. And then if there's a dark or cool spots along the elements, that could indicate worn elements which could cause problems or if the top and bottom elements appear brighter than the other. Now this is, can actually be normal for kilns that have hotter elements in the top and bottom compared to the center. So once you've made all your observations, you can turn your kiln off and then you can contact your kiln manufacturer for kiln replacement parts or if there's an issue, issue with your controller, you can give us a call. So that's it for this time, so remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our e-newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!